Ah, Krios and the Atlantean army are gone, at least. Yeah, so is the entire city. Why do plants grow only in this spot? It is the work of Gaia. Gaia? Weakening the Olympians gave the Titans more power. All of the Titans. Gaia is among them, but unlike the others, she is not a destructive force. She can help us. She already is. Use her power here to restore the land. Alrighty, have I got a cheeky cheeky for you guys. This is a tough, tough mission because the enemy, Red, basically harasses Most of the you. trees have been burnt to cinders, but Gaia will allow us to use her forests. All game, basically. They are, uh, they are a pain to deal with, quite frankly. They, uh, they send armies that are way too large to really realistically deal with. Considering you start with so little. So instead we're going to cripple them. And I do mean cripple them. To the point where they can't build troops. <laughs> Pretty much. So, although they are an AI, they are limited to the same challenges of a player in terms of economy. And you can kill their workers and force them to hide in buildings. What I'm going to do is just nab a couple of these boys. This area has been healed. Okay. Let's not be hasty, boys. So taking care of that is very good. There's one little area that we also need to take care of, and that's down here around the back. I just want to rule this off because I don't want the enemy attacking us. I want to fight away from that uh, mirror tower. Let these guys stop any villagers who try to farm. Put them on stand position. No. And you as well. And that cripples our opponents, basically. Allowing us to farm and do all the other bits and bobs that we need to do. In peace. And that's the first part of my cheeky little strat to beat this mission. Trust me, it makes your life a hell of a lot easier <laughs> when the enemy's not harassing you 24-7. So they're, they're, they're broke as a joke. It also forces, because we've walled this area off, it forces the enemy to go attack through here. And look where our heroes are, perfectly positioned to take care of them. I know, right? It's that good of a tactic. 
It's just... It's a game changer. This mission becomes way more manageable. We can tackle this as well. And that's pretty much outside of the temple. That's pretty much all their production buildings. We can't rebuild them. But we do want a couple of uh, troops. At this point. But our economy is getting pretty good at this point. We want a couple more oracles. I also want to grab the, uh, the upgrade building or worker upgrade building. These guys will keep attacking from there, but we'll be in position to defend it with these three heroes. They always send us pretty much the same amount, which means we can just pretty much play this game in peace for the most part. We'll just take care of this little guy. Not quite yet to take in a position to take on the mirror towers. They are pretty strong. But we are building up our forces. We're going to hero these guys up to start. Just in case anything does break through. We need more wood eco. That's what we're going to be focusing on next. And eventually we will have an army that will allow us to take down their base proper. Soon be in a position where we can properly macro. Still just building the economy at this point, to be fair. A bit of a ways off getting the next um, age up. Unfortunately, we need a much bigger farm eco. So we need a larger wood eco. So I'm actually going to pull people off this. Do with a um, marketplace. Just periodically check in that they're not snuck a uh, settler out or a citizen. And then we'll deal with the whole Prometheus thing in a short while. We just need to build like a max out army if we're going to have any chance of taking down Prometheus. Get 
Vegemos. Scrap that. <laughs> Got our archers in position to deal with these guys. Okay, now we're basically in position where we could actually deal with uh, the enemy base proper. Leave one guy there. Uh, maybe two actually. Whoa, what are you guys doing? To be fair, the mirror towers don't do a huge amount of damage to hero units. They're just annoying to deal with. Just in case they do manage to break through. Mine down here, we can grab as well. At this point, I think we've got enough citizens, we just need to switch them around from time to time. Actually, we are a bit light, we are still a bit light thinking about it. Loss of income here. Settlement here. Let's 
Uh, yeah, let's deal with that. On the plus side, at least that's like. Ooh, there's a lot of uh, Mephians. On the plus side, they're targeting the um, settlement, which actually means it's quite easy for us to uh, deal with the mirror towers. So that's actually good to know. A lot of citizens. Um, okay, let's hold fire on that. Farm is killing us. Uh, well, we've just secured another three gold mines, so happy days. We've healed another area. Gaia seems to be pleased. The sun is shining stronger. Look, the Titan has been weakened. We should attack. No, not yet. He's still too strong. Keep healing the land. That's what's weakening him. Where'd the other guy go? I'm on stand position then since your team seem to keep running off. So close. Oh wait, what do I need? Ah, palace. I didn't build a palace yet. That makes sense. Let's build the palace here. Uh, I got opens a gate on what unleashes a creature's hostile to all. Interesting. Youth units regenerate. Oh, hell yeah. Destroyers, you say? Let's go with that. I don't know any of those gods. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, not come across them before. As the Atlantean army is not the, or Atlantean gods and all that, is not the one I'm uh, too au fait with. But yeah, implosion sounds good. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah, let's move these guys over to this. You know what, at this point... Hey. I should probably just end, I think. 
это пришло. Jesus, the damage is insane. Okay, we are actually short on gold now. <laughs> the irony. Um, okay, let's not have that many people build stuff then. Let's have you guys go back. You guys do this. This one next. In fact, at this point, let's stop training troops. Also, sell some food. Wait, why am I? Oh, upgrades. I see. So this is basically a ring around the roses type of uh, situation. One more settlement, and I'll tear off that titan's head. I'm pretty sure we could kill him anyway. I... I'm not sure if there's something stopping us from killing him. Let's find out. Essentially, killing him is the end game. He's immune to damage. Yeah, okay, I see. That's why we can't fight him. Okay, cool. Good to know. I need to build the other TC. Oh, that's actually a problem if he's chasing me. Go away. <laughs> As you were, sir. As you were. Kill your minions, though. Now, the Titan is weak. Attack him now. Bum 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 bum. Bam bum 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 dun 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 dun. Lawfully, lawfully. We've done it. The Titan is dead. Hey. Victory! That was actually pretty straightforward. Once once you take care of Red, it's a pretty straightforward mission. You have done well. Cronus' servant is still at large, however, and he has the Atlantean army at his command. Where is he? The Atlantean colony. Yes, you must destroy him to end this. Not much of a challenge after dealing with titans. Castor, only you can stop this, my son. Alrighty, thanks for that, but right, do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.